What's up, guys? We did this thing <laughs> where we were, I wasn't going to talk till the camera started rolling. <laughs> and it was kind of funny. <laughs> and then we're going to do something this episode. We're going to try to, you know, shake it up a little bit. You know, like a, like, you know, like a black girl in a club. You feel me? Uh, for uh, the time on being, we're going to switch off, you know, the idea guy, you know? Because, like, in the past episode, it was, like, half and half. But, like, let, let's explore our minds. So. <laughs> that could be a scary thing. I know. I know. <laughs> and it could be interesting. So, in this episode, Kyle's going to, you know. It's my turn. He's, his intrusive thoughts are going to take over. And, you know, maybe in the last episode, I think mine did a little bit, you know. So, we're, we're going to test this new style of potting. You know what I'm saying? Podding. So, or podding <laughs> or recording. <laughs> so take it away. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Well, Keon. Hmm? <laughs> Why you gonna look at me like that, bro? <laughs> Your lips look like a little, you know, like. At least I don't have the eyes like Jerome. Oh, no. <laughs> he was fucking weird that day. Well, Keon, how's life? That's what you came up with. <laughs> it's just how I'm starting. Go with it. <laughs> Life's good. Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Why? Because we are not in our prime yet. So that'd be the ten. Yeah. Are we ever in the prime though? Are we ever in the prime? So when you're actually in your prime, do you know that you're in the prime? Oh, is this like a memories thing? No, it's just genuinely asking. Like, what do you think? You know, I don't think. We know if we're ever in the prime, right? Because think about it. If you're in a prime moment of life right now, you won't know it. But when it becomes a memory, you're going to look back at it and like, okay. oh, that was a good time. So you won't know that it's a pr like you're in the prime until it's past. Yeah. It's kind of sad. Yeah. What were you going with it? I, mean, I wasn't like, going anywhere. I, think, I just wanted to know what you would say. <laughs> maybe in terms of memories, I get what you. I get where you're coming. But from, like though. financials, you know, like just overall, like overall, still seven. Because this is a what? This is like before the boom. You know what I'm saying? Before the explosion. Like when 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 freaking sip of news takes off, we're gonna go Oppenheimer on yo motherfuckers. You feel me? I haven't even seen the movie. I haven't even seen it either. We should probably go see it. Yeah, five dollar Tuesdays. I'm glad I have Tuesdays off. Yeah, but so seven out of ten overall. Yeah. Now let's itemize it. Okay. Financials. What do you think it is right now for you? Probably an eight. Okay, that's I'm a good, good saver, but you know, I'm not making, you know, financials yet. I'm I'm still waiting for that job I'm gonna have in an, a year or two. So I can get on the twins in your guys' level. It's a good place to be. Yeah. What about like your relationship? 10. 10 out of 10? Yeah. But it's still LDR. Oh yeah, still. Do you think it would be, it's 10 out of 10 the way it is? Or do you think it's actually really 10 out of 10 when like you guys are not LDR anymore? Oh, I get what you mean, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> right now, it feels like a 10 out of 10, but the ceiling could be higher. Yeah, so maybe this really isn't 10 out of 10. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's like an 8. Yeah, so right now, it feels like a 10 out of 10, but in the bigger picture, it might be a 9 or an 8 and a or half. Or maybe it's or 10 out of 10 compared to, like, everything before this. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> How do you feel about, like, this monotone <laughs> thing I'm doing? I kind of fucked with it. I ca okay, I kind of saw some videos of people doing podcasts like this, and I really liked it, so I'm, I'm trying it out. <laughs> is this a new era of you? It is. I really like it. Dude, we are already a quarter in. We have 25 episodes after those are done. I like that we've been really consistent. I think, like, everything... We only took two vacation days. No, I think, yeah, there, it's been pretty consistent, though. And, you know, everything's a slow start. But I see I see the growth, like, in likes on TikTok. Yeah, our stuff. numbers are going up. The, it's slowly going up. And I think 
this time next year, I think it's going to be really, really good. Hey, I can't. Dude, with our TikTok stuff, I think you get the most views, bro. You talk, you talk, you you do some controversial stuff, which I agree with. I just, I feel like I have the same thoughts that a lot of people have, but I just say it. Yeah, they're like, someone had to say it. All you out there, you're just, just so scared. Really? You just don't want to say it. Yeah, dude. Like, I think we have a lot of, like, conservative thoughts, but conservative thoughts are thought of like negatively but we all have those thoughts we just don't want to say it because we don't want to get attacked dude like conservative not to uh, get political this is not what today is about but just it's an example. More, I, I think conservative thoughts are more textbook mm -hmm. but you know you can't go wrong with textbooks sometimes you know while we're on the subject of conservative and whatever i've been seeing more videos more often of like people looting stores and shit dude i saw gucci get robbed no i've seen three different gucci stores across california get robbed i think it was like bay area socal like, shout out accurate she reposted it she did yeah that was crazy but like you guys you guys that like continue to fight for that liberal i don't know what it called like lifestyle or something like i just feel like that the liberal party that we collectively, I guess, voted for is not helping these situations. Oh, that's a clip. I just don't. I want to know the people who felt that it was smart to go in this direction. Like, do, you, do you guys think that far ahead? Like, do you guys think about those things? How do you feel about it? Do you not care? Do you think that it's a good thing? Do you think that you're, you know... You're sticking up for the little man. Do you think you're doing a good thing by supporting these things happening? And the little man is in the, you know. The little the, man are the people. The emotional ones. The little man are the people robbing them. Yeah, dude. I was like, They're like trying to be modern day Robin Hood. Yeah, but who wants Gucci, man? I don't know. It's, I guess they think it's valuable. They could sell it. I'd rather get let them steal food, bro. <laughs> like, what, what are poor people gonna do with Gucci? I mean, you could resell it, but like, that that's non-essentials, you know. If um, I was a thief, I would steal the essentials. I just don't. And like, they're not allowed to stop them. Why? I don't know. Wait, did you see the video? It's a rule, though. I know, like in retail, if you get robbed, you're not allowed to stop like as a worker you're not allowed to tackle them you're not allowed to stop them you just literally all they all you could do is videotape them and have cameras and shit but you can't go after them what's the mindset behind that that's my point i mean maybe not with guns but i'll have a baseball bat or a right. baton ready right and same thing with pedophiles what yeah did you know they recently failed to pass a bill in california putting pedophiles in jail dude that's fucked another thing that was decided by our liberal leader <laughs> in california wait well can you what did the bill actually so they, they can't capture people they just they're not criminalized the way they should be wait what's the mindset is is like is it because you know people younger look older no, it's like people who are old guys or girls who are trying to sexualize children. They're not getting oh they're not getting punished the way they should. In some states, in the more conservative states, they're voting for the death penalty. If you are a fifty year old man and you rape a fifteen year old boy or girl I kill that guy. As you should. California seems to think otherwise. What's their mindset? It's maybe it's a freaking mental illness. Is, is that the thing? I don't know, but I'm glad you mentioned mental illness. Oh God, <laughs> Kyle's topics are low key interesting today. I, you know, I when I got my coffee today, I probably spent exactly seven minutes just sitting there writing shit down, and it was shocking how many things came up so fast <laughs> really because i didn't have that long to 
sit down and write shit down, but I actually came out with a lot. But anyway, mental illness. I think it's a big issue these days. Yeah. I think our generation suffers the most from mental illness, or so they say, more than any other generation before us. Mm-hmm. You think it, you would you agree with that? Do you think it's because we have comfort? No. I think it's the opposite. Oh, why? I mean, I don't think anyone lives in well, maybe I do a little bit. But maybe you do. But a majority I don't think they live in comfort at all. What do you mean? They either suffer from Oh, I thought you, you meant know, like house comfort. No. Although many don't have that either. Yeah. We're like the 1%. What what percentage of people what's the demographic for depressed people? If I were to guess, I haven't I haven't done research on it. So don't quote me. Don't Yeah, we're taking it a whim I'm here, no guys. Scientist. We're not scientists. I'm not, you know, shut the fuck up, you know, like it's just my theory, my guess. I would say 70% of our generation are severely depressed. Damn. How many how much of that percentage do you think is under a roof? Like not homeless? Yeah. Cuz I don't think you see like take that out of the equation. I mean, I think a lot of people, even the rich kids with old money. Mm-hmm. I think that's they're in that group too. It's nothing to do with how much you have. I think it's just like people being hard on themselves or toxic parents or friends or yeah but it makes me think how much of that 70 percent is legitimate or how do you say or how do you decide what is legitimate or not like is it truly an illness or you just have a victim mentality that's what i'm thinking too so how would you differentiate having mental illness or severe depression versus just playing a victim hmm well well whatever we're about to say we're not scientists guys so these are truly just thoughts just that's what today is there's no statistics here it's just about thoughts and our opinions and if you're a karen out there that wants to just you know rain on our parade then fuck off okay so how do i do what what do you (laughs) Do you really are, are you really gonna do the monotone thing now? It's my thing now. Or are you just gonna like no test up every it's episode the new it's voice? It's my thing. Really? I've I've adopted it. Oh gosh. <laughs> well, when you and G Hunter go so you gotta change it. <laughs> Unless you know you find chemistry. But if I was gonna differentiate, or I might I might do something different every time. Who knows? Hmm. Uh, let me see. I think the difference. So the question is, what's victim mentality versus actually being depressed? Yeah. Okay. Victim mentality, to me, Ben Shapiro kind of explained it. Victim mentality is when you bitch about a problem and you don't do anything about it. And since you don't do anything about it, you can't see what the effect of trying to fix that problem is. If it's depression or mental illness, I think that you could be, you know, have it if you try to fix the problem and it's still there. So for me, victim mentality is you don't try to fix the problem. Mm. And with mental illness, you try to fix the problem, but the problem persists. That's a good, I like that. That's a good way to put it because I think a lot of the people who have mental illness they like a way i guess a way for them to try to fix it would be like therapy right yeah they try to see get therapy because they think that will help so i i see where you're coming from the victim people don't do anything like that yeah it's about trying they just sit and pout yeah Mm. do you have mental illness oh should we wait for carl no that's that's in the we'll go deeper with mental illness with with him but do i have mental illness? no i don't have a mental illness but i am hard on myself i okay. do have do you think perfectionism is a type of mental illness no really okay what well, what if you if that never- was true all of china would be have mental illness 
I mean, but that could be, we could have it too. Because you beat yourself up and I beat myself up a lot. I don't lot. think that's mental illness. Though. I just think. Well, it's perfectionism. Just, eh. So you think perfectionism is a form of mental illness? A minute form. But it's like a privileged form. Mm. You know what I mean? Okay. Like you have to be in a certain type of situation to try to be perfect. Hmm. Like people in the upper class, you know, they would probably have that but i don't think people in the lower class of or third world countries try it's i, I think it's about how you're raised you feel me because like you have i have asian medical parents you have a you you have a well-off family too right so wouldn't it hurt to not be like them yeah and you know recently i've been harder on myself because i've recently shifted my mindset of not putting myself in the same exact world as my parents like they did well and that's great and i got to get be raised with that yeah but now the way i'm thinking about it is that's that i'm starting from ground zero like this is like i i don't get to claim that me too you know so i think that's really shifted my mindset just finally accepting that and working really hard so i can get to that level or even higher because i think in the so you're past, trying to be like a legacy child yeah and not if you think that you have what your parents have then that's just their ceiling right and you don't feel i don't think i think you're robbing yourself of accomplishment mm -hmm. and it's almost like an illusion because it's not yours yeah it's not yours it's theirs and i think i in the back of my head i always thought of what my parents have is kind of mine when that's not true yeah it's theirs and sure they'll share it because we're their kids but at the end of the day it's not it's it's theirs it's not ours like you didn't create the chain exactly we have to create our own chain i feel it and that, that i i think that's where the entrepreneurial mindset goes right like we, we had a talk you know like you know, like, it's not about school or it's not about business. It's about your story. You feel me? It's like, you know, when we're up top, everyone, like, I bet if you're at a con or something, like a business con, everyone has different stories and how they made it. Like, this dude could be a doctor who has his own clinic and this guy could have been, you know, eating feet in Africa and just fucking just go from oh rag rugs to riches, you know? Like, it's really a... It's really a different, you know, it's really personal, you know, mm -hmm. like life is customizable, but you got to yeah. customize it with the right decisions. I feel like you said something. I thought it felt it sounded pretty powerful. What you said It's like we're starting we're writing our own story. You said something like that just now. Yeah, I feel like I just started to write my story. I think I started to write my story after I met you. I feel like. I thought I was writing my story years ago, but I think I was just throwing ideas on a notepad, and now I finally just started. What, what's years ago? My story, like eighteen, twenty eighteen, at eighteen years old. Oh, I thought I was writing my story back then, but now that I look back at it, I think I was just throwing ideas to like a notepad, and now I'm finally actually writing the story I wanted to write. How is your story? Because you were already a real estate agent, right? Yeah, but that's I wasn't. already already breaking a chain in itself. It wasn't like the way I wanted it, though. It was never the way I wanted it. I think now I finally have what I want. What's your story? You'll have to wait and see. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> What's your plan? <laughs> it's very complex. <laughs> really? You're yeah. gonna like network and just go to t buy coastal lifestyle, yeah. huh? That's the goal. There's a lot of things I need to do. Damn. But it's every day. It's getting clearer. It's a little stressful though, just because I don't know why I want something that's so complicated. But you know, what's that thing that you want? Like, is it things. is it a mindset or is it like materialistic, like houses? It's a lifestyle. Really. I want to be able to do a lot of things that not a lot of people can do. Like what? Like, 
you know, be in the Illuminati and get treated for cancer? No. <laughs> really? Like, you want to go to Mars, huh? I don't. <laughs> really? That's but what I, the people are thinking. I of. would like to get on a plane anytime I want and go wherever I want, you know, without having to sort financials or my schedule or, you know. Don't you just want to be free? You know what? I think with this, it'll help us. I think anything can help as long as we're consistent and we work hard. You know, that's why I say when, not if. Like, yeah. specifically with sipping. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like, you know, for me, my story was written after I met you. Because, like, I think you introduced me to, like, the non, you know, medicinal, non-schooling, which I still am doing. But, you know, there's more to life than that. You know, my aunt was, you know, she want, she was like that. She's like the only like entrepreneurial mindset at Bon. Mm-hmm. That's why I bond with her a lot. I like her. Yeah. Dude, yeah. you know, are you close with your aunts? No. Really? I'm not. I was blessed to have the parents that are the cool aunt and uncle and the family. That being said, how often do you see your cousins? Not often. Really? I see, I have four cousins. I don't have a lot. <laughs> Two on my mom's side, two on my dad's side. My dad's side, they're 10 to 20 years older than me. Mm -hmm. We don't, I mean, just in different stages of life. In Panama, I have two cousins. I'm actually pretty close to them. I don't see them very often, though. Probably like every two, three years. Really? Yeah. But not close to my aunt and uncles on that side because of a language barrier. Oh, yeah. And distance. And then yeah. on my dad's side, there's distance as well. Different views, too, can play a part in that. Mm-hmm. But I recognize that my cousins look up to my parents. Oh, really? They are the cool aunt and uncle. Damn. Shout out Panama, guys. <laughs> it's a nice place. If you haven't been, you should go. Mm-hmm. But another thought that I had, you know, all this think about life and what you want to achieve and shit. But life is more than just life. Are you thinking about heaven? If you want to put it that way. Like, do you ever think about what happens, like, after this life? Ooh. Do you think about that a lot, or do you not think? I always wonder, do people think about that a lot? I think, um... I think you have to be a good person here. When I think about life, post my life, I think about how it can be like, you know, like a great reset if I do, you know, if I don't feel accomplished, you know, and it's always like a way out, but not necessarily like suicide. Like if you die, you're going to have like, you're going to reset something like you're going to either have a good life here or or like not at all. Start over. I don't think. I hope not. (laughs) <laughs> no, to. that would suck, but <laughs> you know. Why do you think it's re- what percentage of your thoughts is like sometimes I think it's eternal life and sometimes I think it might be a great reset? I think 25% of the time I think it's like a reincarnation kind of thing. If you don't really? get if you don't accomplish what you're supposed to accomplish, I think that we're given a purpose. Mhm. And then we're sent here. And we're born and shit, but then we don't remember that purpose. And I think our purpose is to remember that purpose eventually as we get older and then fulfill that purpose. But a lot of people don't. Like they get wrapped up with what's going on, like the worldly things than what their higher purpose was in the first place. That's and true. I feel like those people are the ones that have to do it again. And again. What's the worldly purpose? Whatever that is for you. Oh, you like the worldly purposes they get wrapped up into? Like this? No, like any... Like... Politics is a good one. Mm. Or... Any... Any, like, traumatic shit going on in the world. Like, that. that's surface level damn you know that's some deep stuff man and the thing is we never really know if we ended up like remembering our purpose until it's until we're gone anyway (laughs) 
Oof. Yeah, that would suck to not have a, you know, I, you know, like, would you rather, cause this, I had a, like a church service and the message was, you know, if the, if there was one bad thing you can do with your life, you could be wasted. I'm like, Green. It was like, damn, and there's diseases too out there. You feel me? Like, what if you got like leprosy and you waste your life? Yeah. Like, imagine being like a like a ghetto guy with like a disease or something. That's like double trouble. Hey, even even they have a story. <laughs> <laughs> even they have a story. We don't know what happened to let them there. <laughs> like, even they're in trouble, bro. But they they fucked up somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. So. I, I just had a thought. So back to go back to what you were saying about like kids, I saw this um this mock interview with a guy in the devil, and he's like, uh, phase one. Yeah, I don't know, like one of my plans is, or one part of my plan is to make people not know their gender so they can procreate and to worship God. Phase two. Is to be if is to target the innocent. I'm gonna make it, you know, like since there's gay, lesbian, and etc. and pansy and stuff. I'm gonna make what's a pansy? Everything. Oh. You, you like you're into everything, oh. and it's like I'm I'm gonna make another sexual category of young affiliated affiliated or young attractive. Like young attracted, oh, like pedophiles. Yeah, disgusting. No, like and make it like an actual term. Oh, yeah, and she attacked the innocent dude. Mm. That's like that. That's like going to a bird's nest and just dropping the egg. You mm. feel me? Hmm. That's some crazy stuff. That is a huge reason why. I'm granted I'm young, so things could change, but right now. I'm leaning like I'm only twenty five. I'm leaning toward okay. That's only two years older than me. It's not a lot. I'm leaning toward not having kids because it just seems like a bad place. I mean, I mean, it depends where you are, though. No, it doesn't. It doesn't but you're you thinking too far ahead, bro. You need to get a good girl. <laughs> I don't. Well, it's good to think about that before that happens because you want to know what you want before you end up with someone. That way, you can be straight up with them. You know, I mean, it's not only you. Like, I feel like if you had the right girl, she would do the same to protect their minds. No, but still, that sounds like a lot of work. I don't, my point is, is, I don't want to have to worry about that. Really? That sounds like a lot of stress. You sound like the guy who would get married after you can fly wherever you want, huh? Maybe. Hmm. What What's your marriage window? Like when you were eighteen? Like when I thought I'd be married? Oh, I thought I'd be married by now. Damn, dude. Like literally twenty seven. I thought. Like, I'd have... You're 27? I am. Oh. I, th I literally thought I'd have everything at 27. But you never know how hard it really is until you're actually doing it. I mean, you might not be on... You definitely have everything in terms of tools. Tools. I mean results. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I... It's good, though. I got the tools now. Mm -hmm. But I thought I'd have the results by now. But maybe that was just unrealistic. I don't know. You the know, results are looking real 37-ish. <laughs> honestly, there's no shame in that. That's still young, right? <laughs> I mean, like, for me, no. I think the my last young days would be 35. Okay. But you could fuck shit up if you have all that. <laughs> <laughs> we might not be that young, but we can fuck shit up, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's pretty young if we like, die You can buy Jerome... I don't want him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give him to you 50% off. <laughs> you know, it's just not, I'm not passionate about finding someone or trying to make someone the perfect person for me. Dude, I know you used to talk about the tanga the tanga a lot. So how do you like get your, your, your muse in? Honestly. Like your sexual vice. This is going to sound really weird, especially coming from me because you know me. I know you, they but like recently, it's kind. Of, I've kind of started to like not care so much about that. What? I know. I know. <laughs> oh my god, bro! You're that I guy. Know, I know. I think about it sometimes, but I'm like, I have too many things on my mind, too many things to do, and plan and manifest and envision. I feel a man. 
that just takes away that i use that energy toward that instead dude i, I tell you man uh busyness like takes away the drive you ever like flip on one side of the pill you think about like for me i flip think about my you know my school degree then i flip you know and i talk and i think about flipping sip and nude then i look out and just then i think about china CA, and then i do a card wheel and think about fag and i'm like holy shit yeah so yeah. I, I i think it's i do that too right because like I actually haven't, I haven't been able to sleep very good. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but we actually do have the tools. It's about action. Yeah. But low key, like in Mona, in Mona's episode, it's starting to pile up. <laughs> so yes. Yeah. So I think if that relationship is out there for me, it'll come when it's meant to be i i just don't think it's meant to be right now and that's okay dude in your tinder you should be like i need someone to help pay for a house no fuck that i don't want tinder really <laughs> i don't want anyone in my house either i like you can like i'll have a roommate that's fine but i don't want like a partner i guess right now for that stuff because mm -hmm. i just wanted to do that on my own right now like i want to get my own property that i got on my own yeah you know that i can do whatever i want so with your life right now is it complicated or is it a lot it's just a lot really i don't think it's very complicated it's just a lot like are you drained these days yes but sometimes just for my thoughts Oh, so you're me you're talking about mentally, huh? Because mm -hmm. I know you have some chill days, and you know your clients give you bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, as far as like life, life hasn't been hard on me lately. It's been really good, but when I'm mentally exhausted, it's one hundred percent me. What do you do? <laughs> Is it like you versus you up in it's, there? Yeah. Dang. I literally just like me looking in the mirror all the time. Like, why don't you have this now? Why didn't you do this yet? Why haven't you gotten this done? You know, like, it's just, I'm very, very hard on myself. Yeah, but what is the checklist? Like, give me an example. Like, what do you not have that you think you have? I'd like to have a lot of property by now. Oh. Especially considering the fact that I sell it. So I'm like, should, I should own quite a bit. And I'm just haven't accomplished that yet. So that's something I'm very hard on myself on. Um, like american or do you want to invest in like panama or something all of it really all of it i mean panama's i'm assuming it's cheap because it's just it's not cheaper US. it's cheaper but it's us some dollars oh yeah yeah but it's just all of it you know it's really frustrating and then my parents have been very big on telling me that i'm doing fine to stop being hard on myself my mom described me as like having a cloud over my head sometimes because when i'm hardest on my cute little thunderstorm when i'm hardest on myself is when i'm at home oh yeah dude i hate being at home i know me too like when i'm at home that's when i'm hardest on myself dude that's why i'm like i get depressed sometimes mm -hmm. right then i walk out the door then i see a yeah. smile look growing yeah. like a little <laughs> yeah yeah i feel i feel a little more like easy going some weight lifted off my shoulders while i'm actually out and about where's your therapy place that's not you know bad for the body i don't think coffee's bad for the body as long as you don't add a bunch i of was sugar. talking about like cob and cigars and stuff um, that call was fine I, I thought you were gonna say a coffee shop yeah that's what i was getting at like, i love I starbucks for just to sit. i i love just going to like an aesthetic coffee shop in a really nice area for a lot of reasons one you're in an affluent area and what does that mean affluent yeah i don't know how do you good know? yeah like good like high productivity high, i guess like productivity um high net worth people higher end area that being said you want to golf next week i'm totally down i need to get ruslan to get my, I'm <laughs> I need down. my stuff i'm back. down i'm down you still haven't gotten your golf stuff back we never went. Oh shit! <laughs> we never no, went again. I would love to do that. Um, to probably talk about like a fag too with some I think motherfuckers. Spending time in places like that are really important because you're surrounding yourself with the right people, mm -hmm. the right atmosphere, and those are huge things that affect your life. 
I feel it. Do do you believe the uh, the saying that you are who you hang out with? Mm-hmm. Like, let let's let's say we hang out with like you know. Uh, let, let's say in the group that someone just came here and he he's just you know he's fr- he he recently got his green card and he doesn't know what to do. Do you think him being around you, me, and the twins would like get him somewhere? Because like at the end of the day, is it more like is that saying more of the like your work ethic, the inspiration, or like your net worth? It can be or any, network? It can be any of that. I think it's that's up to that person. Yeah. Like, what do they want to take away from us? And okay. make their own, you know? Like, like for me, for you, you probably took my lightheartedness and I took your entrepreneurial mindset or something like yeah. that, right? And always, I think it is very important to surround yourself with people that motivate you, inspire you. Always be around people that have something that you desire that yeah, you don't like have. Yeah, it's like fucking, per, it's like smell, dude. Like a like if you're a homeless guy and you hang out with us and we all smell like Christian Dior. You'll eventually smell guy. like Christian. <laughs> but if, if, smell I, if, I, if I start to smell like a homeless person, though, you need, like, you need exactly. to go. Exactly. It's like the smell. <laughs> you need to go. <laughs> and if we start smelling like homeless guys, we, we hang no, out with them too much. I think the numbers is good, though. You know, like you hang out with a bunch of smart people, you'll be the next one. And same with money and love and everything. I really think. God, I think that smell thing's a good analogy. Hey, ever all of you guys have good relationships, so it's it's bound to happen eventually. But I'm not. I'm. Are not, you finally learn from Gian? Huh? You're gonna learn from Gian? No. <laughs> I'm gonna bleep that out. I'm sorry, G. No offense, but no. No, I'm bleeping that. Out. <laughs> you don't have to. Oh. Okay, <laughs> you're interviewing him. It's not. It could work, but no. No, I know you guys will work. I mean, never mind. What else is on your mind, Kyle? Well, you know what's funny is we just we talked about a lot of it, but it just just flowed. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, just one thing led to another. It was kind of like out of sequence, but we we got it. Um, what do you feel like your main purpose is in life? Dude, it changes, but uh, uh, for me, like as a soul or someone in in a society, the first thing that comes to your mind when I ask you that question, of uh, as a family member, I want to break the chain with. I'll break the chain with you, you know, you know. I want to be like financially well and give to the people who need it. I want I want to give like my parents like good month. I just want to be like a believer in God and a donator to the to the needy and also donate in my pockets you know what I'm saying like <laughs> there I need it is. some stuff too bro <laughs> like but that's that's the nicest way of saying I want to be rich okay like not like a like a non dick rich you know what I'm saying we call that an NDR over here mm-hmm. 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 sometimes it feels like you know ndrs play golf but you know you, you need to get the the right you know yeah. the right thing from them you know, that, the right takeaway that actually is something that my dad and i were talking about just last night that the best rich people are the ones that don't look it don't act it they don't act like assholes they are just normal nice people and you would never guess Dude, the first they had it. The first thing that comes to my mind is an Indian in a mansion. <laughs> they come out with slippers sometimes, dude. And I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can yeah. that I can I can say I have a friend like that, dude. They be driving. He's his name's Manpreet, and <laughs> yeah, he has like no, a. They all be driving Toyotas, Hondas. They don't they don't show off or anything. But it just has to be white. A white Honda? No, just white cars, bro. Oh. <laughs> they love their white cars, actually. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm starting to think that I don't have to be as flashy as I always envision myself being. Don't get me wrong. I still like nice things. I know. I do too, dude. Yeah. Look, look. Does that say Vietnamese? No, nah, dude. It's something you don't know. Oh. It's that <laughs> month. Shout out to you, Ralph. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but uh, what, what do you think your life purpose is? Not to be flashy is a lame one. That's not my purpose. Then what is it? You gotta answer your questions too, man. 
I, my purpose, I feel like I, I want to be free. Like freedom is the first thing that comes to my head. So like, like, I just don't want to be restricted financially. I don't want to be restricted to a relationship. I don't want to like a bad one, you know, that bosses you around or prevents you from doing what you really want to do. I don't want anything holding me back, tying me down. And I want to bring the people that I love with me to have that same privilege. Like your family? Yeah. And my close friends that I consider family. I just want, I want all of them to join me with that. And in, I mean, in essence, it's, it's to get rich too. Cause that's, a tool that you need to achieve. Yeah, we'll be that. NDRs, guys. We have a relatable podcast. We'll be we'll be NDRs, right? You guys out there that think money is the root of all evil, you're looking at it all wrong. I think money is an energy, and some people attract it more than others, and it starts up here. I think it's the root of all, you know, I think money is the, the root of all you can's. Like, you can do that. You oh, can right. do that, you know? Yeah. It's you not wanna, necessarily... You want your uh, family to be safe? What's going to get that? Money. Mm-hmm. Puts you in a safe area. Puts a roof over your head. Yeah, no single dads You want them either. to be no healthy? What's going to do that? Money. To so get that organic Fast section. Fast McDonald's is much cheaper than organic food. It's delicious, though. <laughs> it's disgusting. You eat, you eat chicken stars. It's not my first choice, though. What's your first choice? Not fast Actually, food. fast food, yeah, it, it is fast. Your fast food, you know... It's oily. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But anyway, you know, like, money does solve a lot of issues. I don't think people want to admit that. What do you think your rich persona would be like? Us in 10 years. Honestly, the as I get older, I feel like I want to be like that secret that secret rich we yeah. call that an sr over here just because i know so many that mm-hmm. are like that that wouldn't no one would guess in public yeah and i want to be like that like a secret rich yeah i thought you were going to be like you know those bad guys in christmas movies or just a ghost really like you just you see me and now you don't <laughs> i think my rich personality would be like you know I think I'd be flashy on every, you know, weekend, but not the weekdays, you know. Mm. And I'm talking even, <laughs> I'm just saying Saturday. Mm. Yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't want to come off as, you know, that, that rich. I, I just want to be a funny rich dude, you know. We call those FRDs. Funny rich dude. Okay. What? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> like, you just want to be a ghost? So what are you now? Just a fd funny dude or a filipino dude i guess either one i guess a ffd yeah i guess <laughs> what, what do you think you are hg we call that a house guy <laughs> <laughs> i guess yeah but we'll make it in 10 years because like you know like podcasting is like a way to fame yeah guys honestly we're, we're doing pretty good have you seen the numbers so far it's like steadily increasing Steady beats the race. You really think we're going to be something this time next year? I mean, well, I think we're going to be, like, a lot better. Dude, fucking, we got to interview Ali next. That'll be a banger. That will be a special treat for Halloween, which, by the way, I am super excited about pumpkin spice season. Dude, it's already Halloween. This is, like I told you, August 29th, people. August 29th. Wait, pumpkin spice just tastes like pumpkin pie, huh? I love pumpkin pie. Dude, it's amazing. (laughs) That's the only pie I'll eat. Not chocolate? Chocolate pie. Yeah. Do you like pudding? Mm. What's your favorite dessert? I love... You, you You would like molest a muffin. Only the muffin top. (laughs) (laughs) Not the muffin body. (laughs) No, I don't like the muffin body. Why? I'm just more of a muffin top person. Are you a muffin with milk? I don't like milk. Like o- oat milk then? Nah. Really? Dude, you know, like, if you're not 
lactose intolerant by 35 you have a weird mutation really yeah well we i don't have that mutation <laughs> yeah i don't so I get oat milk with all my stuff i think now. i'm starting not to have it because coffee like sends my butthole to flames oh how often do you poop oh shit dude like twice a day really okay this is the most regular i've been in my whole life i've pooped every day for the last two weeks i've never done that that's pretty often though no but i've never pooped every day before low-key guys i was always constipated like i i always pooped maybe like two three times a week but now i'm pooping every day <laughs> what was wrong with you did you just eat the pad thai too fast no, my diet has been pretty much the same i eat a little less now yeah me too loki it's but because i've been waking up later i'm just not hungry and i think it's the the stress and like that i put on myself i just not hungry but i i definitely drink a lot of water and fluids that being said we probably gotta like actually release the clothing this winter oh by the way um the bank account we set up it's negative 15 dollars <laughs> okay what did we set it up see guys it's not all sunshine and rainbows yeah we're gonna get rejected <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna shut it down <laughs> what did we what uh, they'll shut the bank account down if it goes negative 25 i think oh we didn't even spend money on that no i know but like you can't have a bank account open on zero yeah yeah but for real we, we got to release that in the winter I, I said 2023. Good thing I didn't say spring, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let, let's resume it. In, uh, Clothing brand coming soon. Thank you for tuning in this episode of on Sip and News. If you're watching on YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we are also on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. You want to do, do a quick monologue in your uh, newfound monotone voice? Thank you so much for listening, guys, and... I'm happy to hear your feedback on this monotone. Oh, version. wait, we got to do that more, bro. Like, thanks for listening, guys. Have a good day. You got to do that every thanks time. For listening. I say YouTube. <laughs> I say the YouTube shit. Like, I can do that. I can do that. I say the YouTube yeah, yeah. and audio and you're like, go. Thank you for listening, guys. Wait, what else should I say? I don't know. You, this is your <laughs> script, man. I was doing so well just on my own. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening, guys, today on Sippin' News. Happy to hear your feedback on today's topics. And shout out to all of you struggling with mental health. I guarantee you, it'll get better. Oh, that's fire, bro. All right, guys. Have a good one. Grow it every day. <laughs> what do you think about the new system? It's easier, huh?